If you're a teacher, 2020 tried to break you. You had one week to convert everything you do to a distance learning classroom. You have one of the most complex jobs there is, hundreds of students, thousands of moving parts, and you had one week to figure out how you were still going to be a teacher in the midst of a crisis. How you were going to get your students to still think about school from home during a pandemic. Get them to open up a book outside of the classroom. How you'd get them to engage their analytical, systematic, and creative minds while they're surrounded by distractions. How you were going to ensure your students would still know someone in the world deeply cares for them. And all of this while you were parenting or caring for loved ones, while you were worried about getting sick, while you were homeschooling your own children. The familiarity of this job went away with the pandemic, but the pressures of it didn't. The parent phone calls didn't. The long hours, the sense of isolation, the grading, the anxiety didn't go away. There was no leaving work at work anymore because home became work. You answered every student email, took every phone call, was available for every office hour, and were committed to every student. 2020 tried to break you, but it didn't. Because here you are at the end of the school year. You made it, you did it. You were an essential worker who didn't raise the white flag and submit to defeat. You fought on, you kept showing up. It was difficult, sometimes you didn't want to show up. Sometimes your students didn't show up for the Zoom calls you spent hours preparing for, or the hands-on activities that you planned felt like a total failure. Or maybe you spent the past two months trying to find out the status of that one student who just seemed to disappear and you couldn't find them and you worried about them. You couldn't get them to engage with school and maybe you couldn't even find out if they're doing okay. And it broke your heart because you got into this profession for that one student. Because you believe teachers can make a difference. And while society doesn't always believe that, you have seen student after student overcome impossible obstacles and change before your eyes. But in the last few months, you haven't gotten to witness that change. You've lacked the fuel that a student's transformation usually is for you. You're left to assume that your work is making a difference, but sometimes you question that because it's hard to tell through a computer screen in the midst of a pandemic. 2020 tried to break you, but it didn't. In fact, it may have made you stronger. Maybe you have skills now that you didn't have before. Perhaps this crisis has highlighted how important relationships are and you're determined to commit to them more than ever when you get back to your students again. Maybe the last few months have revealed how strong you really are, how capable and adaptable and resilient and committed that you really are. And maybe, just maybe, our society does as well and much needed changes are coming that will reflect that. Teachers are gardeners who sometimes see what the seeds they plant grow into, and sometimes they don't. Many of the seeds planted in the last few months were during a storm, and the gardener is left to wonder if their crop will make it. Well, let me just tell you that the sun will rise again. And during that storm, the seeds receive plenty of water. And so the work of the gardener is not in vain. Your work has not been in vain. This storm, the crisis 2020, tried to break you, but here you are.